fan of it, but I got to ask, how do you feel if Nick Perry came back on a vet minimum deal? I'd actually be down for that. I'd be down for that. Just, uh, cause if, it's, he, if it's vet minimum, I mean, Perry's whole thing is he couldn't stay healthy and he was making just an ungodly amount of money. Like, the pass rush wasn't there, but Duke could still hold an edge. Um, he's still physical. He could still do good things. But on vet minimum, like, there's value there. You don't want to pay $12 million a year for it. But, but for vet minimum, yeah, why not? And then if he gets injured, you, you cut him. Like, I'm, I, again, like, any, like anyone, like pretty much anyone we're going to talk about during this time, unless it's Trey Boston on a vet minimum, in which case they go, go get him. Go get him, guys. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be. I'm basically gonna say the same thing, which is, uh, it's fine. Like I'd be, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, take a shot. That's fine. Um, it wouldn't move the needle for me one way or the other. But I, I mean, he's not, he's not washed. I think he's got something left in the tank. Um, I, <laughs> I think a lot of Packers fans would hate it because he stole money from us or whatever the devil people think about Nick Perry. But I, I think he's still good enough to bring back on that minimum. Why? I think we should. I think we should club both of his hands because he plays better with a club. I don't even care if he's I would club him. Dustin, do it. Why, why do the it. hell is Trey Boston still on the open market? Why, his tape is good. He's a good guy. He, why Why is Trey Boston not on a team? I, that, that one baffles me to this point because I thought he would be one of the first safeties. Is there something about him we're not, we don't know? I mean, it just, I'm confused here. Well, that's the weird thing is that, you know, safety market's been weird for the past couple of years. Um, you see guys kind of going on time late. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, Landon Collins got the bag this past year, didn't he? Didn't he in off season like Landon Collins actually went nuts? Um, uh, Kevin Byers, um, uh, Kevin Byers just got signed a huge contract. Yeah, I saw that, and obviously we saw that Amos got paid, like which I'm which I'm fine with. Um, yeah, I don't know. I unless like we find out, you know, Trey Boston has like literally killed five people, and they're in his you know closet, and GMs knew about it. But didn't tell the cops for some reason. I have, I have no idea. Like he's such a weird theory. No, <laughs> oh, listen, man. I'm throwing just throwing anything out. He's still on the phone. I have zero idea why it would be. That is like some uh, game. Yeah, I have no idea. Stuff. No idea. But I mean, yeah, Trey Boston, though. I mean, he just he would fill that third safety role to transition the linebacker because he's played strong safety before. He has that knowledge to play near the line and drop in the coverage. He just I feel that would solidify the back end and we have the money to pay him especially after cutting Daniels I know the money is for ugh, Clark and Bakhtiari and Martinez down the road I got that but ugh, Trey Boston well, would make this defense I think go to another level if we're, yeah, if we're just talking about depth anyway you look at the Packers depth chart at safety it's Darnell Savage and Adrian Amos are your starters and you know Amos is, Amos is going to be good Savage we hope is going to be good I assume he's going to step in and be great right, right away but He's a rookie. You don't know. And then after that, man, it gets... I expect some rough Raven, patches. Raven Green. What's that? Oh, I, I expect a couple rough patches from Savage because I think every yeah. rookie has a learning curve at some point in their first year. Yeah, and secondary is tough. No corner is a little tougher to get acclimated to than safety. Um, but it, it's tough. It is tough. But, like, after that, if one of those guys gets injured or Savage is a little shaky at the beginning, it's, it's Raven Green and it's possibly Josh Jones. And then, I don't know, Tremont Williams wasn't great at safety, and uh, yeah, Mike Tyson. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, this, like I'm looking at the depth chart right now, and like, if, if suddenly you bring in, uh, if if you bring in a third guy like that, that you know can be good at the very least, if someone has to miss a game, like you're not sweating, saying, "Oh man, we got like Raven Green is starting in safety this week, or we got to bring Central Bryce back or something." I think you guys fine. Um, like, it, it helps with depth, if nothing else. Okay. Well, good riddance. Um, I know. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 <laughs> I feel the same. I'd be all for that time. So, so well, Dusty, do you, have how any, do, you, do you have any training good. camp day one, like, news or anything interesting, th- stuff that's on your mind? I mean, what 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 were your thoughts on kind of what, what, what's going on on training camp day one? Uh, it sounds like they're messing around with um, – you know, I like I like the focus on the offense. Um, <laughs> they, sounds like they're moving around some stuff on the offensive line a little bit, or not offensive line. I'm sorry, um, from a like, kind of personnel formation perspective, uh, which I really like. You know, I, I kind of watching the Titans' offense last year, kind of expected that was happening. So to kind of hear that coming was is is kind of exciting. Um, it's not like uh, Davis had a nice day, Trevor Davis. I'm a big, yep. big Trevor Davis guy. Um, 
So it's not like he had a nice day. I, I, at this point, I kind of I'm, I've got him penciled into that that last wide receiver spot. I think he's a lot to make. Uh, he's won me over, kind of him Davis. I love him. Dave, I love him. Well, that's the thing is before I was against him because he didn't seem like he was kind of like uh, making progress as a wide receiver. As a special teamer, okay, he was solid. But now after it looks like Lafleur noticed what he can do with him, it's it's winning me over like day by day and. It through OTA's mini camp and our training camp, and it's just he keeps producing well in these days in the floor's offense. I'm like, okay, I'm starting to like this. Man, listen, like you watch that Ram stuff, you watch the Titan stuff, you watch the offenses that the floor has been involved in. Um, it's that that quick, like that super fast guy, and you get those big jet sweeps. Even that, you just you look to get a guy in space. Um, Davis has not seen all that offensive snaps. When he does, where he makes noise is like get him a smoke route or a wide receiver screen, like something short designed to get him in space. Like you think speed and you think you want to get this guy in a streak down the field or something. No, like you, you get him in space on a short throw and dude can do serious damage and they just never used him that way. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I think uh, I, I was really excited uh, before I think was my, one of my top guys I went for head coach uh, basically because of what he could do with the offense and, and, what, and what he could do with Trevor Davis. You've got all this speed. With a guy that just barely sees the production guy, there's a ton of value in that. Um, so, so kind of hearing some of the stuff from Trevor Davis, you know, I'm I'm sitting in Kentucky, so I, I'm just I'm following along uh, with everyone else that's out there. Uh, well, it sounds like Davis did some good things. Um, how many wide like receivers are going to make this roster, good. Dusty? What's that? How many wide receivers are making this hmm. roster on the final fifty? Jay and I are split on this. I, I got. I'm uh, very I got adamant. Six. I've got six, but I got to keep. I got them keeping four tight ends. So bingo, uh, I agree. Is that you? You got the same thing. I get. I, I got six and four. Receivers. You run down your wide receivers. What do you got? Well, I'm going to start off with obviously Adams, Allison, uh, NBS, ESB, Kumaro, Davis, but I'm going to let Jamon Moore go. He hasn't shown any progress. I just. See, that's where I'm. That's where I'm split. I got. I'm letting uh, Kumaro go. I don't like Kumaro. I, I got more. In there. No touchdown, Jesus. He hasn't done anything. <laughs> Thirty two years I, old. He did some today. I'm. I'm it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, am adamant, I know. Very adamant that there will not be more than five receivers on this team. That the six receivers. You're crazy. And, six receivers and more is a Mike McCarthy <laughs> hang up. Look at the roster makeups of all the Shanahan teams. They don't keep that many receivers. They will keep an extra lineman. They will keep extra tight ends. Running backs, I, there's more likely to be five running backs kept in a, in a fullback. So six, I could see more likely six running backs in the room with a fullback and five running backs than I can six receivers. The running game, guys, running is more back. important. Yeah. That, that I know. includes Danny Vitale. <laughs> Danny Vitale. Go look at the roster well, makeups of these but, teams. But even then, who's the six? Who's the six running back? That's because, I, like I said, that you have to consider there's people that are not on this team. This roster is not going to stay this way. This roster right now is going to change seven times before week three of the preseason. I mean, it's just, well, why would I, it take six running backs in the 53, though? I said I yeah, could – no, 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 yeah. no. You guys are mis- misquoting me. I said I could see it more <laughs> likely to have six running backs in the room than there would be six wide receivers. I'm not saying they would well, do I don't it, buy that a bit. But I do not buy that a bit. Yeah, LaFleur's offense still uses wide receivers. I mean, yeah, it's a, there's power zone running in there, yes. But – I, that's, that's where I got to disagree, no, Jay. No, I, no, 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 no. You're they're still again. using wide receivers. Because you're no Aaron Jones is going to be lined up, and so and also I keep telling you guys this: where the hell are you playing Jimmy Graham? You're not playing him on the line. He's a wide receiver, so that tight end spot there goes it, to one of the wide receivers. It, when I'm wrong, I will admit it, but I'm telling you right now: at the end of the day, when they line up for game one, and he's lined up out there, and there's four or five tight ends, and only five wide receivers, and there's more running backs, and there's like nine linemen on the 53, I'm going to laugh because I'm going to say I've seen this on a lot of rosters already with these guys. It's not necessarily running backs, but you have to stop and consider the way way Jimmy Gramsby is and what he can and can't do. 
they're not going to put him in a position in this offense that he's not going to succeed, which means you can't line him up on the front or back side to block. He can't block. But if you go look in Tennessee, if you go look on the Rams, if you go look in Washington, in Atlanta, where LaFleur has all been, dude, they don't keep that many tight ends, as you're saying, and they also have plenty of wide receivers. Different teams, different quarterbacks, different head coach. No, those are all the same type of offense. Do they have Aaron Those are all the offenses. Nope. But do, minus Aaron Rodgers, though, that's what I'm getting at, though, is the, the wide receivers are still going to be six. I, there's no way they're going to be able to drop to five on the 53 because of the fact you need gadget guys in LaFleur's offense like a Davis. You need the big shot plays in MDS and ESB. You need the technical guy in Adams that just does everything. Allison's going to be your slot guy. Those guys are like, on the roster. Those are your five. Six guys. You're not going to. It's going to be more. It's going to be more or Kumaro. It's going to be either one. Neither I one agree totally with Dusty's. No. Oh, what about T.O. Redding? Do you think T.O. Redding's got a shot at the last one? I don't think so, but it sounds like he was showing out today. Yeah, I was reading that. Yeah, you know what? He is intriguing. I got to go back to the defense. I got to say it. I read it, and I about jumped out of my chair when I read it. Blake Martinez, I think, is going to be even more of a beast this year. I think he's ready, especially with him buying the Petten defense last year, totally. I think the second year for him in this defense, I think Martinez is going to be this stud that we've just been waiting for inside linebacker. I'm not the biggest Blake Martinez fan. Like what How dare you, sir? Is that he's smart and he's good in coverage, um, which is good. That's fine. <clears throat> I mean, I I I think I I balk at him being a stud a little bit just because I don't think he has that in him. Um, but you don't. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't care too much about inside linebackers. Uh, so all you got to do to be a good inside linebacker, if you've got the guys around you, is just be solid and don't make a ton of mistakes. And I think he's got that in him. And so I'd be fine for that. Yeah, absolutely. I think it. you're going to see a different beast this year. That's just me. I, I, I'm I a huge so. Blake fan. Yeah, I hope I actually, do. I, don't, for, I don't know. Not, not, not for safety earlier, earlier. Um, well, how do you feel about Natrell Jamerson? I like him. I don't know that I love him. It's another there's so many guys on this team that's like um, he's intriguing, and if that shake, that could be really really good. Um, that's how I feel on Jamerson. Like I, I think I could see him. I could see him being good. I honestly don't have a huge opinion on him either way. Do you love him? I don't love him, but I do like his fit in that he. To me, he has a possible behind Josh Jones and Burks linebacker safety fit. Because the guy can throw down. He can hit, but, I mean, he also showed he can cover at times. Yeah, there's flashes, but there's not that complete package. Like what you said, like with Raven Green or Jamerson, there's just there's flashes, but there's not the full thing. But second year in the system, who knows? We, may, we can see someone step up we don't even expect. Yeah, that's what I hope. I mean, a lot of these guys are just a second year in the system – a lot of young guys, I'm I'm hoping, and I'm guessing the Packers are, are kind of hoping for this as well, um, that you get a handful of these guys that just something clicks. And you know, maybe you saw it in minicamp, maybe they've seen it in practice, maybe they've seen it elsewhere that some of the stuff clicks and, and suddenly you've got a handful of guys that are just ready to tear up. Um, I wouldn't be mad at it if that happened. Well, okay. I have a question of this. For a offensive lineman, Jay and I have actually been talking about this the other night, and I know he probably still feels the same way. Um, Him and I are not big fans of Lane Taylor Um, after last season. How would you feel if, say, if Taylor came out and was a surprise cut and Elton Jenkins came in at left tackle, you still have Cole Madison available, I mean, you got plenty of guys that you could plug and play there, and I think you could succeed a little better. I, I think, I don't know. I, I think Jenkins was a second round pick for a reason because he was that nasty of an interior offensive lineman, and Taylor scares the hell out of me after watching him against Week One against the Bears. I will tell you right now, I would hate if they did that. I would absolutely hate if they did that. And part of that is, I mean, 
man, I mean, there's so much. I mean, the, the jump from college to pros is huge, and it's tougher on some positions than others. Offensive line's tough, dude. I mean, maybe guard not. Oh, I agree. Tackle, but, like, it's 